Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. So a customer brought this awesome Sprinter van that she likes to go camping in, do some skiing and stuff. Back here, she had already built some stuff herself and got these nice couches installed right here. Folds into a full-size bed across here. Really clean looking, really nice. These big canvas bags up here. So what she wanted on the inside here was just a kitchen setup and something simple but also something that you know used a good amount of space and had enough you know cooking area so this is the idea that she came to me with and we have a couple little renditions but this is what it looks like so starting from the outside here i want a little shoe cubby where this cabinet is going to be sitting on top of the flooring so that's perfect you can sh uh, fit all kinds of shoes in here you can access it from this side if the door is closed uh, we built this outside table a gas strut here a little magnet to hold it up access to the water under the sink i'll show you in a second so coming inside just a massive cabinet right here that took up all this space still enough room to fit something behind the seat or spin it around um, to have a little table set up here as well so starting on the bottom left here we have a pull out composting toilet which is pretty cool because you can just pull it out and sit on it and it's already ready to go. You don't have to take it out of the drawer or set it somewhere else or anything. It's pretty nice. Um, back here, the toilet actually has a little fan. So we worked a way where that goes outside the vehicle and has enough room that it doesn't get caught up when you slide the drawer in. The fan's running all the time to blow out any of the smells. Right here we have massive drawer for all your cooking supplies, pots and pans. Shorter drawers, like she's already got stocked up with her stove and all that good stuff. Another one down here. Plates, bowls, stuff like that. And then a pull-out fridge. Fridge is on. It's already going. Wired it up back here with just a couple cigarette plugs so she can remove the fridge easily if needed. Already cold. Got some water chilling. So now over to this left cabinet over here. This is where she wanted the sink, but she kind of wanted it to be semi-hidden, which is a great idea because then you have more countertop space when you're not using the sink. And, you know, it's just a really clean, nice look. So it works like this. Gas struts as well. Nice little bar sink with a RV style folding faucet. And underneath, just a couple of uh, simple six gallon water tanks down here. So as I was saying, you can see from the outside that hole back there where she could easily just kind of unscrew that and fill up the water tank if she wanted to. This is the waste tank with one of these nice little drains on it we found. I'll put links to in the bio for all of these different um, things used in this build. Back here, you can unplug the water pump. So if you wanted to remove the cabinet because your cabinet is on these tracks, one back here and same thing with this cabinet, there's a couple horizontal ones. So this left side has um, storage just for a laptop and all kinds of little drawers. What's up, guy? <laughs> you want to be a YouTube star? <laughs> Classic. Um, tons of more storage on this side. Made these drawers a little bit shorter to fit the wiring back there and to get to the bolts. This one, she's going to be putting some little latches on in the next couple days here. Lots of storage in such a small area. And to finish it out, we have a couple switches here with the USB plug that she just wanted moved out of the way. And one turns on the water pump and then she's got a couple more for, um, you know, lights or anything like that. And lastly, on this side of the cabinet that we built here is just a little shore power plug, which I hooked up down to the bottom of the van. It's kind of hidden and underneath the van. Um, not mounted on the side, so it's a little more stealthy looking. It's pretty cool. I can show you that real quick. Just in case that you're parked somewhere that you want to just plug in and run, you know, some larger electronics or blenders or something. So you can see that right there. Super easy. Right here is the vent for the toilet as well. So all in all, really cool build. Customer is super happy and she'll have a lot more storage for all her different adventures. So once again, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and have a look at some of the other videos I have, all kinds of playlists of how to, other van conversions, truck conversions, and all the stuff used in this build will be in the links in my bio. 
Thanks again. See you next time.